The number one accessory I recommend for making your smartphone footage look more professional is, of course, an ND filter. The problem is attaching an ND filter to your phone. That's where this Moment filter mount can come in really handy. Comes with a little bag. It's a very simple device. It's made out of aluminum and it's got a soft mount here for the filter. This is where the filter will mount. And then it has an attachment on the back where you screw it down onto your phone, more or less clamp it down. And this is padded right here where it presses against the screen of your phone. And I'll demonstrate that in just a second. Comes with a little card with the instructions. And it's fairly simple and it's really more of a universal mount. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, but it should work with other similar phones too. You take the device, You put it over the lens mount, and they suggest getting the widest lens in the middle of the mount. So that would be the ultra wide right there. And then you tighten it down. Now you've got a filter mount on your phone quickly and easily, and you can put a filter in here. And here is a filter. This is a variable ND filter from Moment, and it's a 67 millimeter mount. And that's what this is. This is a 67 millimeter filter mount. And so you would take this filter and simply screw it on the mount. And now you've got a filter with the mount and you're ready to shoot. And to round out the setup here, I now have it in a beast grip cage on top of a small Manfrotto tabletop tripod. Now remember, the biggest thing about smartphones is you cannot control the aperture. It's a fixed aperture. And so the exposure is set by ISO and shutter speed. And so without an ND filter, you get very fast shutter, which then eliminates the motion blur. And so by adding an ND filter, you can get proper motion blur. In this case, shooting 24p, that would be 148 shutter. You double your frame rate to get the ideal shutter speed. So overall, this is a really pretty cool setup. It's very affordable and it's easy to use, but it's not perfect. This right here, where it attaches, if you put it horizontally on the phone with the iPhone, it doesn't work with Face ID now, which is kind of a bummer. It's covering the Face ID camera just ever so slightly, and so it won't work. The good news is though, if you're using an app such as Filmic Pro, it doesn't cover any of the user interface. It covers just the very edge, but that's not really important because it's already black right there. And the nice thing, of course, as I showed with the sample footage, it does work with all three lenses. Of course, the ultra wide, the main one, you get a little bit of vignetting potentially with the filter, depending on which filter you're using. But otherwise, the actual mechanism is clear of all three lenses, which is great. But the other thing that does concern me just a little bit is how you have to tighten this down onto the actual glass of the phone. So over time, I'm not sure about that, whether that's going to potentially damage your phone or not. It's very light and so it's not like it's too heavy or anything. It's more about the pressure of tightening this down. And so I probably wouldn't over tighten it. Now you can though, of course, put the device up like this and over the phone like this. And then by doing that, the Face ID camera will work properly with the iPhone. But then you are covering some of your screen real estate within the app. And so I don't personally like that. It still covers all three lenses. And so you don't have to worry about that. It may not fit quite as well with this iPhone 11 Pro Max, another device that may be fine though. So you have the option though to put it whichever way you want. For me though, going back over to the side works the best and I just like it. It feels more secure. 
although it does block the Face ID camera. But again, overall, this is a really simple little tool that I think can make a big difference. And the nice thing, of course, is you can use professional quality ND filters on your smartphone, and it really will help improve the look of your footage. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.